coming to our next question i just wanted to understand since you have experience in e-commerce you know marketing has changed a lot over the past few years so how do you build a e-commerce brand you know because some of the brands are digital first and some yeah. of the brands are purely digital so what has been your experience uh, and you know it will help if you can share some insights okay um so uh, mehul i would say that uh, when you are working on an e-commerce brand that is uh, digital first one should be very very clear about the product proposition one uh, the second is the pricing right now um, if you look at the the d2c brands that have established themselves in the last 4 or 5 years the likes of mama earth uh, sugar cosmetics plum mcafee none of these uh, d2c companies have launched uh, mass market products on e-commerce right why because your mass market products uh, command lower margins their product proposition is also very very unique right so mama earth started as a baby care label then they later expanded uh, into personal care products when they launched their products they had natural toxin free ingredients which was a new concept 6 years ago right so to summarize i think your products should have high or average gross margins compared to the category that's one and you should have differentiated product proposition to make you stand out also your product mix and your assortment mix should be such that the consumer can buy multiple products in one basket because then only your uh, d2c you'll be able to justify your d2c logistics cost right so uh, that's the first very important part for any e-commerce brand uh, the second is that once say once you have uh, found the right product once you have found the right pricing for your product then uh, the brand should move to finding the best medium to reach their consumer right now um, as i've already mentioned right the opportunities that are available in digital marketing today are endless uh, so a brand needs to determine their target consumer they need to know where that consumer is hanging out and how can they best reach out to that consumer right there's no point being on a platform just because everyone else is if your consumer is less than 25 years old he might be on an instagram or a snapchat right there's no point of having facebook as a part of your marketing strategy right uh, now even even within instagram the brand should try to understand what your target consumer is doing what type of content they are consuming whom are they following right and once you've understood your target consumer once you've understood the channel that you want to target the consumer you need to create content which will resonate with your audience right you need to create content with your audience in mind and then share uh, uh, it with them on the right platform and at the right time right so after uh, you have figured out the right product after you figured out the right pricing after you figured out the right uh, digital uh, advertising model the right platform where you would reach out to your consumer the last but the most most important uh, part is your distribution platform right now uh, may well there have been many debates in fact i was part of this uh, debate right which you had organized um, in uh, one of the d2c summits right there are a lot of debates that are happening uh, on choosing your own d2c platform or launching first on marketplaces right now uh, what i believe is that starting one's own d2c platform can get very very overwhelming right and it is also expensive uh, i can quote this from my own experience um, 8 years ago there was no zomato uh there was no swiggy to help me with uh, orders to help me with the uh, deliveries right so we were completely dependent on our website on um on our own delivery fleet right and this limited our reach uh today i'm 100 i mean i'm like 200% sure that if there was uh, uh, swiggy there was zomato there was these marketplaces available at that time to help me reach out to the consumer reach out to the relevant consumer i might not have shut down right uh so i would say my suggestion for all the upcoming brands would be that jointly work with marketplaces do not discount uh, the fact that these marketplaces exist work with them uh what you can also do is that you can choose the marketplace right so uh, uh, lately you will see a lot of brands that have launched exclusively on nike so you don't have to be available on all marketplaces if you think nike is the right kind of consumers for your brand you choose nike if you think uh mintra has the right kind of consumers i mean if you are a fashion brand if you think mintra has the right kind of consumer you choose mintra right but always work with these marketplaces in parallel right and then also start working on building your uh, strong tech and operational capabilities because uh in d2c a successful d2c brand today requires a robust system 
uh, to fulfill orders to deliver them on time to the consumer and to also manage returns right so while you are working on uh, building your business on marketplaces also work on building a strong a uh, tech system building a strong backend logistics system to be able to cater to your uh, growing demand